building's for the HOPE program. It houses men and women. Um, they have recently changed things up in the program. This used to be a resource center for everybody. Now it's just for the HOPE program. And everybody else has been ex exiled. We have the Greenway Flats which is owned by SRM. They have a building on the other side. It's a small building. They own it and there's <coughs> there's a weir a weir warehouse a warehouse on the other side of the small building just uh, on the other side of this on the other side of the apartment complex that uh not sure if they own that property or they're just like maybe leasing some of it out but they store some some stuff in there I would just imagine that they actually own it the little building that is right there is the new kennel they built for the dogs or the animals mostly dogs um, it's a shame they actually house the animals in better conditions than they do people in entry the tall building with the red fire escape there is the tower that's where the tower people dwell they uh as well they're separated and set apart from community <clears throat> we have wine punts right across the street not sure what they do break a lot of glass bottles for sure kind of a little look-see down the street the varying businesses they have in the neighborhood it's kind of hard to get any kind of video with the during the day of this place so I just figured it'd be better to do it now That's right, Springs Rescue Mission. This would be the tower. Okay. All the tower people live up there, they don't live up there, but they stay up there. This is the entry. Kind of right where that second door is, next to that guy, in front of that guy. Um, F security. Which is good, necessary in this part of town, believe it or not. Um, they, the reason for the fencing is that there used to be a lot of, a lot of bad stuff going on. So they fenced off the area to keep people from coming in and selling drugs and trying to do all kinds of bad stuff. Um, <coughs> Those are the lockers for the people in the program. You can kind of see zoom in there. The relief shelter and SMR's SRM's God standing right there on that little podium. Um, the relief shelter is where overnighters such as myself stay life recovery the NLP program new life program they do addiction recovery and Esther's program which I think is for 
women who suffered abuse but they men and women reside over here um, over here you have the chow hall or the dining hall as they call it and there's a little bit more of the relief shelter their lockers and a little bit of what was the resource center and you can barely see it it's funny they haven't changed it yet men's next up which is actually not just the whole program so yeah it's kind of the back side of the resource center <laughs> and I will see you guys on the inside Let's see if we get some footage illegal footage on the back side we have kennel uh, um, I don't know can't really do much in there try to be discreet The mail room, it's where we get mail. <clears throat> Again, we got the shelter uh, program lockers, SMR, uh, SRM God, right here on the pedestal. Got the dining hall, dining, it says dining. And we got, let's see if we can get the next step. And some of the, probably gonna get kicked out. <coughs> some little habitation zones. They use these little green areas, with the artificial grass. For people to actually like sleep on during the day, like people just lounge and sleep all day long. Um, yeah, so there you go. The uh, bins, trash cans, that's where people from the relief shelter get to put their belongings. And there you go.